Hello, my name's Phil Howard, and uh, we're in the kitchen of the this is the kitchen of the square, and uh, this is where I've spent the majority of the last uh, 20 years of my life. We celebrate 20 years of the square this year, and, uh, and this little this has been my world for 20 years. Um, in that time, uh, it's probably fair to say that we've done in 20 years there may be half a dozen. Uh, signature dishes. If that, there are there are a few things that really have become kind of kind of a, a style. And one of the things that we do, which is um, I, I, I personally really enjoy, it, is a, a slide of white rice. Uh, um, I have a sweet tooth. Um, I love foie gras. I love the richness of foie gras. I love the flavour of foie gras. And I really enjoy. I do lots of people, but I really enjoy preparing it for fruit. Um, and, 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 and very much a sweet and sour kind of style. And um, at this time of the year, um, you get terrible fruit in England at this time of the year, uh, most of the year, but this time of the year we get amazing peaches. And um, what we're going to do is a, uh, is a, is a roast beef squadron covered with a, a crust, a very simple, a very textural, great crumbs with little bits of golden raisins, a um, little bit of almonds, a little bit of shallots, a little bit of mostly texture, a little bit of sweetness. And we're going to pair it with um, the most um, amazing bit of it. It's a grilled peach. Um, and what we do is we, uh, we, we start with uh, a phenomenal vinegar. Um, very expensive. It's a, called a, it's a, it's a minus eight vinegar. Uh, and this is a vinegar which is harvested in Canada from raisins that have been at minus eight degrees for at least ten days. So they're absolutely frozen, except for your essence, which is then extracted and made into this fantastic uh, And uh, we make a very simple gastric with vinegar and a bit of sugar. That we have to uh, briefly bring up to the boil. And then we take, we take these peaches. We have a huge problem in this country with fruit. We have terrible fruit. In the summer we have lovely fruit and we have great apples and pears. But in the rest of the year, fruit that goes all over the world gets flown into the UK and they pick it when it's absolutely underripe. And we get it when it's rock hard. They go from being rock hard and underripe to to rotten without ever becoming ripe. Um, but something like a peach is um, these are just amazing. You know, we just it is, it is only a peach, but it is it is a fruit that we get in in an exceptional condition. And um, so. We're going to just really carefully slightly stubborn this peach. We're going to peel the skin off the peach. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to poach it beforehand. Um, but this is going to be a bit. We're okay because I don't want any excess moisture in there. But what I do want is just a pure flavour of peach going into the the vinegar. And the quality of the vinegar means that we just get the most amazing sweet and sour flavour. We do, we pretty much always have a roast wine dish. Um, it's always based on fruit, always have a sweet and sour thing to it. It's always roast, except for a few weeks in the year, which is actually right now to your. Um, we do a we do a pot of cherries, pot of cherries, and to get the peach without poaching it. We roll it and coat it in this mixture of vinegar and sugar. And then 
really slowly under the grill. Because what we want to happen is we want a combination of, of heat and a little bit of colour. But what's really important is that we get moisture loss. So that we end up with a, with a rich, chewy caramel. We do have a sous vide machine in the corner there. Uh, we use it. We use it very little. I'm not a believer in sous vide cookery, but uh, because in my experience, uh, a bag doesn't do anything for flavour actually. So all of these, without exception, get roasted. The one exception we do have is for And the important thing about the water bath for the Fargo is that the water bath, all it does, it doesn't cook it, it's just soft. It gets the whole thing to the point where the fact is, it has melted within the Fargo. So when we cook it, all we have to do now is it just caramelize it. So you don't get the interior of the Fargo stays a fantastic texture. Which is, for me, a hugely important bit of Fargo. It always has an amazing flavor. But to get to the Fargo, it has that lovely, springy, soft, um, but firm texture. That's what it's all about. Um, and, uh, we don't want too much colour. We certainly like peach. Peach is dead, so we don't want too much. There's a lovely golden raisin puree, which is it's fruity, so it's got natural sweetness, but it's very, very mellow and rounded flavour, so it complements the foie gras, doesn't fight with it, doesn't overpower it. It's a beautiful kind of fruity puree. Here's a pizza that's been under the grill for about an hour and a half. In, out, in, out. And you can see it goes from being fresh from that to that. It's enriched, it's caramelized, it's sweet, it's sour. It's, it's, it's just utterly beautiful.
I mean, what we've got on the far ground is a generous amount of crumbs. You've got sweetness, you've got sour, you've got richness. What we need now is some texture. And there we have it. Perfect progress. Enjoy.